Hey everybody, look on the screen is Angela Yee. Yeah, the radio personality. So I wanted to point out this article. Angela Yee and Shea Moisture announce $10,000 grant for black entrepreneurs. So radio personality and entrepreneur Angela Yee has teamed up with Shea Moisture to give two black small business owners who are working to address the needs in their community $10,000 each, according to press release obtained by VI. The Shea Moisture Community Impact Grant kicks off the release of the brand's inaugural impact report that documents the profound work that has been done to invest in and support the black community. Ye has partnered with the hair care brand in search of submissions from small business owners to win the reward. So two small businesses, they get $10,000 each. Okay. All right. And I thought about that. Good deal. But there are a lot of businesses that could use the money. You know? A lot of businesses that could use the money. The funding is needed. So there's a lot of need in the black community. And I was just checking. Um, Angela Yee. I believe her. Let's see. Let me get it right. Oh, yeah. So here it says her ethnicity. Angela Yi was born to a Chinese father and an Afro Maceration mother. And she was raised in Flatbush, Brooklyn, New York City. Okay. So a young she's a biracial woman. And the owners of Shea Butters, a company, Unilever, I believe they are publicly traded. Okay, so uh, it's ten thousand uh, dollars for these two businesses. Hmm. Is there any more money out there that could be found to help other black businesses that are trying to uh, help the community and address the needs of the community? Because the community is on life support. I wonder. Any other money lying around that could be used? Boop. Look at this article. Remember Kyrie Irving? He just tweeted a movie he saw on, what is it, um, Amazon Prime, I believe. Anti Defamation League refuses donation, gives back the $500,000. So, because he tweeted a movie that he didn't make a star in, but he tweeted a certain part of the movie, uh, it was labeled as anti Semitic. And people have different views on that. It was labeled anti-Semitic. And he gave the apology. And then he also did what? He donated $500,000. <laughs> Only problem was they didn't even want his money. They, they refused his $500,000. So what are the odds? We already saw the party, the yacht party. So because you've, because you've been labeled a certain way and got your little hand smacked. He wrote a check for $500,000 to make it right. Didn't want to, uh, I'm assuming you didn't want to offend them and you want to show that, you know, you understand. So you want to check for $500,000, a donation. They don't even want your money. Again, their hashtag, power checking you, in my opinion. So since they gave that money back, you can't. Why he can't set up a foundation and maybe try and, you know, help the community. I'm not saying give to little TT or Dustin or, Dust, or Dusty, but businesses. 
But I get it. I get it. You want to make sure that you appease those other people. That's that's how I see it. Since they gave you back the $500,000, they don't even want your money, even with your apology. And I have my personal view, and I mean, it's like a person retreated the movie. Okay, he did that. He didn't make the movie a star in it, but I know. They power checking you. Okay, that's, that's in my opinion, that's what it's all about. They're power checking you. Then I said, I haven't seen them say, hey, well, just take that movie off Amazon. They're not going to mess with Bezos' money. Hell no. It's about you. They power checking you, boo. So I'm trying to understand why couldn't the same money that you want to give to the anti defamation league you you there's no way you cannot see what's happening in the community you can't go ahead and donate that money to help black businesses in the community you can't do that It speaks volume, and I'm sorry to say, that's why I think that I respect men like this here on the screen. That I respect now, he'll throw a yacht party, she'll be invited. More than likely, our her daddy has to say to one of him, Well, dad, I think you should do this right here. I bet these men take, I bet a man like this here will take action. He'll throw a yacht party with Becky now. But you can't donate that kind of money to help the community. We're talking businesses, you know. That's how you create jobs. And especially for men like you, because men that look like you, I hate to tell you, not seen as an individual. That's why they, they power check and you give you a smack on the hand. Don't even want your coins. Uh, the most incarcerated, uneducated, most unemployed. Why you couldn't give them a donation? But you knew how to throw a yacht party, and Becky was definitely at the party, huh? Oh yeah, we saw it. We, I mean, the video is it's still online now. But this is your king. So to appease non-black people, they know how to show up with that checkbook. This is your king. If I don't respect you, they don't even want your money. Don't even want your money. So this is why nobody respects you. If you think that you can sit out here and build wealth for other people, knowing you come from the bottom of the barrel as a group, and that's where it is. And you're going to get your little money. You can be rich. As I just did a video on, when you're a black man like that, they, they can pay you a check and you can still, you can get rich. But at the end of the day, they see you for who you are. And that's why they're power checking you and they're treating you like C-H-I-T. You may be rich, but they still treating you like chit, C-H-I-T. Sometimes it's not just what you do, it's also what you don't do. So I'm trying to understand why it has to be women and other people that don't look like you that just have to come in and try to save the business owners in your community. You could take this money right here. What's the guy? I believe his name, if I'm not mistaken, Shea Butter, a black man. He's doing some small schools. He has schools that are on a smaller level. And for what I'm hearing, the kids are doing well excelling. You can't get the money. If you don't give it to a black woman, I understand that. I, I get it because, you you know, you want to be uh, Becky's boo. That's how I see you. You want I think you want to be Becky's boo. You can't get the money to Shea Butter. They said, that young black man got these schools going. They're smaller schools, and the kids are excelling. You don't want to give him the $500,000. You can align yourself with Becky and be whack. At the end of the day, rich or broke, your skin is still black. And that's why the hashtag is in. They are power checking black men. Mm -hmm. Again, you may be rich. But you don't, you don't have any power. Why? You can tell. Because they're still treating you like C-H-I-T. Chit. I'm out. Mm-hmm.